Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we got through Fossil Falls and collected all the moons we could. There are two that seem to be impossible and two that we'll probably be getting later. Now we're here in Tostarena. You may remember the last video I had nine purple coins here and now I have 14. The reason for that is I've tried to record this video three times now, this is my third try. So I got a couple of purple coins on my first try. I'll be grabbing them again just so you know which ones they are. It's these two here. And... Also the ones past this cactus here. So the reason I've had to record this video three times is because it turns out it is possible to climb that tower and get to the first moon without going through the 2D section. It's just ridiculously hard and I can't pull it off. Uh, I've tried for about an hour with no success, so for this video I'm just going to do some of the other moons around because I'll need to do them anyway. Uh, and then I'll have another shot at that in the next video and see if I can manage it. It is really, really hard, though. Uh, it's quite easy to climb that tower after you've done the story, uh, because the ice melts, you can stand on those. See those little ledges around the side there? You can stand on those. But when the ice is there, you can't. So you have to get up there in a much more difficult way, and I haven't managed to pull it off. Ugh, it's hard. Uh, I think I already got that bird one, right? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Da, da, da. Not yet. Alright. Let's just mess it up. Uh, I think I can, I can get a Jaxi and do the Jaxi stars without needing to... Well, stars, moons. Do the Jaxi moons without needing to gain access to some of the later parts. So I might have a look at that in a moment. Uh, those purple coins I still can't reach because they're frozen down there. I'm just trying to go after this bird for the moment. Ah, it's right there, come on. Yeah, the bird catching ones really annoy me. <laughs> it's just really annoying. I think the easiest way to do it is basically to get a jaxi and chase the bird that way, but... <sighs> that's gonna be annoying. Uh, the trace walking is here, it should be totally doable, just annoying because we have to crawl instead of walk, and so it would be much slower. Uh, okay, yeah, that bird's getting away from me, I'll do that later. Uh, I believe if I walk on top of the jaxi ruins, I'll be able to pay the jaxi and gain access to it, even though we haven't done the story. Uh, a Jaxi shows up in at most of the other stations later to make this a bit easier, but if you get up here, you can still pay the Jaxi straight away. You only have to do this once in the whole game, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we can get a Jaxi and then we can do all the Jaxi moons without too much trouble. Uh, the Jaxi moons are kind of unchanged, actually, because like a capture or all the other vehicles in the game, the Jaxi just goes, doesn't care what buttons you're pressing. Uh, it's very hard to steer though, so this won't be changed, it'll just be hard, because Jaxies are annoying. <laughs> uh, you can run the poison though, which is kind of neat. Uh, let's head down to the Jaxie ruins and get those two moons, I reckon. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da. Okay, so, yeah, you don't, you land without a Jaxie for some reason, but there's another one right here which you absolutely need, because there's no other way to cross this poison, as far as I know. And there's lots of purple coins in here, so we'll be grabbing them. Uh, since there's no reason not to, and we can reach them without too much trouble. Uh, so yeah, basically, 
the way the Jaxa works is it goes forward very, very fast. You can't turn very much, but if you hit V to break, you can sort of... It's, it's kind of like you're doing a power slide sort of thing. Kind of like um, in Mario Kart when you do the little jump and then you can slide around corners and stuff. It's like that. Uh, and it doesn't last long. Once the break actually cancels itself out after a few seconds. Yeah! Okay, so that's one move. Uh, I think we should be okay to get everything else in here. These cacti are harmless if you want a jaxi, they just get knocked away. It's kind of neat. Uh, I think if we go this way, there's some purple coins. Yes, there are. Um, I know we can't get all the purple coins because some of them are in 2D sections that we can't access. But we're going to get everything we can, so... There we go. So that's the Jaxi Ruins done. Yeah! <laughs> Two moons. Uh, let hop down this pipe here. We can also use the Jaxi on the overworld. Like, out here in Tost Arena, which we will be doing for a couple of things to make them a bit easier. Uh, for example, chasing that bird is much easier with the Jaxi because it's so fast. Uh, although, since the bird is above you, it's kind of tricky in some ways. Basically, the easiest way to get the bird is to go to the town and get on the buildings there because the bird doesn't fly very high above them. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, this painting, that's not activated yet. Uh, this painting would give us one of the secret path moons. I believe it's the one in New Donk City. Um, but you need to do the story for it to show up, I think. Which is a bit of a hassle for us. Uh, for now, we'll just keep doing things we can do. Let's see. Oh yeah, the sheep. Uh, so the deal with the sheep is there's a shepherd over there who has lost all of his, all of their sheeps, and we just have to chase the sheep over there, basically. I believe there are three of them in this one. Uh, some of the other sheep-related moons in the game have more sheep or fewer sheep. This one, there's just three. Uh, also, yeah, they run away a lot, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, if you can hit them with Cappy, that launches them in that direction, but I'm having a bit of trouble doing that. There we go. See? Uh, you have to do some precision launching later on, which is quite tricky. Uh, if we have access to that area, which we might not. Three of them. Okay. So... Uh, I believe they're all quite close in this one, which means it's not a huge hassle to find them. There's the second sheepy. So yeah, the sheep are wearing hats, which is why you can't capture them. Because that's how this game works. <laughs> I guess that's two. Uh, I don't remember exactly where the third one is. Let's have a quick look around and see if we can find it. I think it might actually be further over towards Sustarina Town, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's roll along here and just see if we spot anything. Some purple coins we can get up there, so let's head that way. Yeah, slopes are not a problem in this game the way they are in 3D World. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a lizard. Look out for them lizards. Uh, let's see. There's a cactus. There's a pillar over here. Uh, a moon shows up on top of that once you can open the moon rock, but we can't do that yet, so... Yeah, uh, that one's actually quite hard to get. It's, it's a little annoying. You sort of have to use motion controls. And I'm not a fan of that whenever they do that, which is fairly often. Uh, yeah, I think the last sheep might be a bit closer to town. I can't really remember. Uh, there's the trace walking pooper. We will be doing that, because we can definitely do that. It'll just be slow and annoying. 
Uh, the Hintard, I'm not sure if we can access that yet. I think you need to do the story. So let's go have a look. Yeah, the hint art would be on this wall over here, and I'm not seeing it, so it probably only shows up when the story's done. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, where's that third sheepy? Uh, I think possibly there's, like, way over this way. I can't really remember, though. Uh, if I recall correctly, the sheep do not save when you change area. You have to do all three of them again, which is... Annoying. Uh, not a big deal, though. Uh, one of the seeds we can plant to get a moon is down there. Yeah, I don't remember where the third sheep is. I don't think it's on Moai, the Moai Island over there, but maybe it is. Hmm. Anyway, let's get this nut so we can get that moon done. Basically, you just have to pick it up. You can carry it around here to spring your way back up. Uh, I'll put it back down so we can throw our cappy. Yeah. Oh dear, this might be trickier than it first appears. Okay, so pick up the nut. And there we go. Alright. Yeah, this is smooth sailing now. We just gotta make our way over towards Tostering in a town so we can plant this. No problem. Uh, I already showed one of these in um, Bub Lane, I think. The way these work anywhere else in the game except Bub Lane is you just have to plant it and then just leave it for a while and come back later. Um, there's no way to make them grow faster, which is kind of weird. Uh, we'll do this one too while we're here. So yeah, you just leave them there. Eventually they sprout and you can get a moon out. But for the moment we just gotta wait, basically. Uh, there's Talker 2. Uh, I don't think I've done this pipe yet. This leads to the other one of the um, Rumble mini games, where you just have to walk around and find the rumbling spot. Which is over here. There we go. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! <laughs> so that's three. Uh, I'm not really sure how many of these are actually doable, so I'm not quite sure where to stop this video. <laughs> so, hmm. We'll see how we go. Uh, also, going in there probably reset the sheep now I think about it. That's a little annoying. But the third sheep will be the trickiest one anyway, so it probably doesn't matter too much. Whether the other two sheep get reset, since they were quite close to begin with. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that third sheep is. Maybe it only shows up once you've done the story in Unfrozen Tuscarina. Maybe. I don't think so though. There's actually a way to get a life up part from um, bouncing on those little yellow Goombas, but it's almost impossible because you have to bounce on like 30 of them, and there's very few places in the game you can do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did you already get that moon? Yeah, I did. Uh, that one is really hard to get unless you can climb the pyramid. I already did this one in the secret room. Uh, if we head this way towards where the sheep... Uh, I did the Sphinx already as well, yeah. Towards... Where the sheep and stuff are. Oh cool, they stayed, they stayed there. It doesn't actually reset them. That's handy. Uh, I don't remember where the th third one is though. You can actually see a multi-moon over there, but you can't get it, um, because it becomes accessible later in the story, basically. It's sort of a foreshadowing thing. It's kind of cute. Uh, we can't do the free running, which would show up over here, until we've done the story. 
Uh, we can do trace walking already, which is interesting because, like, they're both Cooper mini games. We can get these purple coins without any trouble. I don't remember where that last sheep is. Maybe it's just not accessible yet. I guess that's possible. But you'd think it'd be like visible in the ice or something. So yeah, there's a multi-moon, which we will be getting later, maybe. You have to do the story to reach it. Uh, but if you throw your hat like that, you can get a whole bunch of coins out of that. Oh, that wasn't as many as I expected. Alright. But yeah, um, that multi-moon becomes accessible later on. If we can get through the story. We'll see how we go. Uh, let's see here. This is, this is the inverted pyramid. It will open up once we've done two story moons, if we can manage to do the first two. Uh, it's another 2D section, but I think it should be doable. So I don't know really, but I, I believe that is doable. If we can make our way up the tower. Um... Come on, there's got to be other stuff. Other stuff we can still do. Uh, we can buy a moon. We haven't done that here yet. We can buy some of the outfits as well, which lets us get another moon. Uh, it's just we're in a precarious, we're in a tricky situation. Um, oh, we haven't done this one yet. This one is really funny. <laughs> Basically, you got this cactus here, uh, but a cactus has a little thing on the top that would let it wear a hat. So, we're now a cactus. Yep, you can become a cactus. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game. Uh, anyway, under the cactus, you can get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! the oasis again. Uh, there are some moons buried here. You need the Lakitis help to get them out. Uh, oh, hello, bird. Bird, bird, bird. Oops. Ah, I can bird. There you go. Bird, 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 bird. <laughs> the bird chasing runes are just super annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I think I need a Jaxi to do that more more easily, so I might go get one. Uh, once you've paid for the Jaxi, you can summon it to any of the Jaxi stops around the kingdom. So it's pretty easy to get another one. But you have to get to somewhere the Jaxi already is to pay for it the first time. Uh, and I believe the only way to do that without doing the story is to go up to the Jaxi ruins. Fortunately, that's not too hard to do, so no biggie. Uh, we can't get that rocket yet, which leads to a pretty fun sub area. It's actually a capless one, which would be interesting to go through with our restrictions. Also, yeah, the Jaxi has its own music, which I like. Uh, I don't think I did the notes up there yet. Maybe I did. It's hard to keep track exactly of what's been done and what hasn't. crouchings again every now and then. Or which I mean accidentally tapping Zed and causing it you to exit and you capture or dismount or whatever rather than just crouching. Also yeah that sound effect is really cute. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know where the bird went. It just orbits around, like, the entire kingdom, basically. So you've got to wait for it to come back if it's gone past where you are. It's kind of annoying. I think I did the notes one. I don't, don't think I did. Yeah, it looks like I didn't. Let's go do that one now. Also, yeah, the Jaxi can destroy big cacti too, which is pretty excessive. Okay, so the notes, you just gotta climb up here. Um, there's only like a few of them to collect, so it's not that tricky in theory, but it's not that tricky in practice either. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, that one's super duper easy. Uh, and the bird. There's the bird. He's approaching, so... I think it's approaching. It's hard to tell. I might just stay over here on these palms for a little bit and see if I can get the bird that way. Since it is about to come by the oasis. Uh, ba -ba bird. So yeah, the bird moons are mostly super annoying. Uh, I think there's one in most every kingdom, and uh, some of them have multiple birds, and in every case, it's pretty frustrating. No! Bad bird! You're supposed to get hit by my cap! <laughs> okay, let's climb one of these trees. Okay, there's the bird. Okay. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, that's five moons. We're making okay progress. Uh, yeah, I reckon in this video we're just gonna focus on side stuff that we can do without doing the main story. Uh, which is a decent amount, actually. Even though we already got enough moons to leave the first time we were here without doing the story. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm going to just try to do that skip. And probably fail. Uh, we're going to go and shop, go shopping here because we need to buy a power moon. But we also need to buy an outfit. Also, there's a dog in here, which is pretty cute. <laughs> Little dog with a little hat, little holes for the ears. Uh, you can talk to these guys, you've got to get nice and close. There we go. Yes, I'd like to love to buy a power moon from you. Thanks, Tostarinen. Yeah! And the other thing we're going to do is go over to the purple and buy the sombrero and the poncho. Because this outfit lets you access a particular room here in Costa Arena, where we can get another moon. Uh, we can't quite afford the cowboy outfit. I mean, we get the outfit, but not the hat that goes with it. But we sort of want the poncho right out anyway, so all good. There we go, look at that lovely outfit. Look at that lovely sombrero with feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. Here's our sombrero wearing hero. Basically, we just head over here and we talk to this Tostarinen by this locked door. And we'll be allowed in because we're dressed correctly. See? Snappy hat, snazzy poncho. Let's head on in. And we just have to stand up here. Oh, we have to stand up here and not be crouching. Hmm. Yeah, you stand here, it activates a little cutscene, but if you're crouching, it doesn't. Hmm. I don't think we can get this. Um. It's like with the sitting down on chairs thing. You can't sit on a chair if you're crouching, and there's a moon that you get by sitting on a certain chair. So we can't get that one either. 
also you have, I think you have to do the story in that area to get it. So, yeah. Okay, so we can't get that bird because we can't actually sit down. We can't enter cutscenes by standing in certain spots because we're crouching. Huh. I mean, I should have seen this coming, but I kind of didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think. I think we're running out of places we can access at this point. There might be one more sub area we can do. I think. And it's over this direction. Also, the last sheep might be around here somewhere. I haven't seen it, like, frozen in the ice anywhere, so it's possible it's just out on, out in the world and I have to find the spot where it is and be better at doing that than I am. Thankfully, it does apparently save the sheep when you leave the area, so that's handy. Uh, anyway, the last sub-area I'm thinking of is this one down here. Which just has a little cap door. And it's not frozen or anything, so we can go in here without any trouble. So this is a little sub-area based around using these Moais, which we pretty much haven't gotten to interact with in the main game. Oh no, there was one, there was one in um, Moon Cabins, so we got that one. Basically what they do is you capture it, you would just run around, when you put your shades on you can see things that are invisible. Pretty simple. Um, this can be done without the Moais because the platform's are already there, they're just invisible, so... Yeah, <laughs> um, there are two moons in here. One of them you get by doing that. Gappy! And then making your way over there. Da -da -da -da. Yeah! And another one you get just for going through the area the normal way. Uh, I believe there's like three rooms like this one. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna capture another Moai, just because I don't really remember the layout. Okay, so where the purple coins are is safe, and there's a bridge up there with the other exit there. Okay. You have very little camera control here, so it would be a bit of a problem in certain runs. Uh, here we're okay though. Uh, then there's the moon, let me just take a peek at where the platforms are so I know what to do. Alright. So if we just do a backflip, make our way all the way to this corner, we'll be fine. Flip our way over here. Da -da -da -da. Yeah! And that's both rooms we can get in this in this area, so we're pretty much done here. Also, yeah, every ridiculous amount of mobility in the air. It's so great. <laughs> okay. So that's that sub area done. Um I have a feeling the last sheep is here somewhere. I just can't remember where. Um, maybe I'll just pause and go look it up. <laughs> just to save some hassle. Uh, let me just think about it. Um, I mean, it might be inside... Oh, there it is. Look, right there. Unless that's one we already got and they've respawned after going to that room, which is possible. Uh, I don't know why they would have done, because they didn't respawn after going to all the other rooms. Yeah, okay, that is the last sheep, it was right there. Okay. I had a feeling you might need to do the story to get all three sheep, but you don't. It's very easy. Uh, you don't want them to hit the cactus, because it's a cactus, and they'll, like, run away. There we go. Yeah, sheeping moon! It's called sheeping. It's, it's not like herding sheep or anything, it's called sheeping. Shaping sheep in the dunes. <laughs> okay, uh... Once this guy unfreezes, he will be affording us a whole bunch of moons, but we have to do the story here for that to happen, so it's a bit of a problem. Um, I mentioned a tourist earlier. Uh, this guy is the guy who carries the tourist around to different kingdoms. So you need to get that guy free if you want the, to get the tourist moons, basically. Which means doing this kingdom. Uh, okay. So, at this point, I think we have everything we can get without doing the main story. Uh, there might be a way to reach that moon that I'm not seeing, but I don't think there is. Oh, there's the slots. We need the slots. Let's go do, let's go do the slots. I think they're already unlocked. Uh, basically, there's a little um, 
mini game of sorts where you can win various items, including a power moon, by spending 10 coins and lining up some little slot machine things. It's, it's completely skill-based, not luck-based, which is nice. Um, but it's about throwing your hat with a bit of precision, so it might be a little tricky in our current run. It's over here. Uh, basically, yeah, you, you just talk to this Tostarina over here to activate it. And then... you meant to just throw your cap to stop these things when there's a moon right there. It's the regular heart. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The fact that we have to jump kind of kills our precision with the timing here. Uh, let me see. Okay, I can see the coin. Okay, no, that was a little someone before the coin then, which is what? Okay, when the life up part is there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be really tricky, actually. Because, yeah, you, ha you have to throw Cappy to do this. It's the only way. And... You have to throw Cappy with careful timing! <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! I didn't know you could actually do that. Um, I mean, I screwed it up and didn't get a prize, but... It was still cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, this is completely doable. It's just, it's just annoying. Okay. Um, so I think I want to do the flip when I say the life up part, maybe? Yeah, that's it. Okay. I think the speed doesn't actually change, so... Oops. Ah, oh. it's a little too early that time. Okay, you get the idea. You have to match up all, all the moons, and there's more than three in the later ones, which makes it much harder. But it's completely doable, it's just hard. <laughs> Oops. Um, I didn't waste my 10 coins just then, because that's really annoying. I probably did. Yeah, the game resets itself if you leave. Wow. That's really rude. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Moon. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, this, this, is, this is absolutely possible. It's not, it's not like I'm trying to do something that just will not be doable. It's just annoying. This timing is much, much easier if you can just throw Cappy. Uh, but the restrictions on throwing that we happen to have make this a gigantic castle. Please don't leave the room again, Mario. Yes! Oh my gosh. Da -da -da -da. Yeah! So yeah, this is designed like with speedrunners in mind because you can do all the slots separately, but you can do them all in one go to do it much faster. It's just a lot more precise. Oh wow. Anyway, yeah, I got two of them at once just then out of three, which is not bad. Um, let me think. What other moons can I do at this point? There's actually a moon in this fountain, but because the fountain's frozen, we can't get it. Um, so that's one of the ones that you need to do the story to access. Uh, the bird we already got, right? Yeah, yeah, don't bother trying to get it again. 
I believe Jam and Toad shows up here later. Oh, we can get the other, um, one of these. We can do all three of these. And then that, I guess that'll be the video. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So, I'm gonna go get the last nut, which is nut seed. I think they're seeds. The last seed is over this way. It's pretty easy to get to, and seeds are fairly easy to carry. You just gotta bounce off them and then pick them up. In order to, the bounce cancels out the weirdness of Mario's jumps and stuff, basically. There we go. I just sort of tapped Y as I landed on it, and I did the trick. Oh right, trace walking. I forgot about trace walking. This video might be longer than I expected. Uh, so, what trace walking is, is basically the Cooper asks you to walk in a certain pattern and draw some arrows on the ground. And you start walking and then the arrows disappear and you have to get as accurate a walk as possible. Um, because we are not able to walk, only crawl, it's going to be a bit slow, but it should be doable without any weird tricks. Uh, there is like advanced trace walking as well, but that only shows up when the moon rock's been done, so there's only one trace walking room we can get right now. So we'll go get that, and then I reckon that's probably about everything we can do without doing the story moons. A whole bunch more stuff opens up once we have done them. There's some moons on top of the pyramid, for example. So yeah, you just talk to this, this trooper here. You can walk like a champ. I think crawling still counts, so we should be fine. So yeah, you just gotta walk in a circle like that. Obviously this would be much easier. Actually, the arrows are sticking around longer than I thought they would. Yeah, the arrows disappear at that point, I guess, rather than after a certain amount of time. So yeah, you just gotta walk in a circle. Something sort of like a circle. In theory, it's not that hard, but it's kind of hard. I forget whether those shrubs were inside or outside the line. I think I didn't do too well. This might take a few tries. It usually does take me a couple tries to do most of the trace walkings. Oh, okay! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really walking, I was, I was waddling, but, you know, whatever. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, I think that's everything we can do without making it up that tower. Uh, I did actually try, in one of the other videos, to grab a bullet bill and fly over to the Moai habitat. Um, because that's where you get after you've done that move, to do the next story move. But I don't think it's possible. The game actually kicks you out of the bullet bill in midair and you just sort of fall. It might be possible. Um, if it is, it's not like any easier than the strat to just climb the tower while it's frozen, I think. So, yeah. Um, I think that's this video. We've collected, let me see, that's 14 moons. That's pretty good. Uh, oh wait, th that one's still really going to be growing. Uh, I think I'll get that at the start of the next video, because this one's already like 40 minutes. I'm going to cash in these 14 moons, and next time, we will be getting that moon and then trying to climb the tower. And that might need some editing. <laughs> I may need to cut out some of my attempts to keep it from being ridiculous. 203 moons, yeah. So yeah, um, we need 250 to get to the next place you can get. Um, we're making good progress. Um, we definitely wouldn't need to do all the moons here to get that many, because there's so many other places we can get lots of moons. Like the Lake Kingdom, I think we can just get everything. Oh no, wait, that's a 2D moon. Except the 2D moon, we can get everything. Uh, the Wooded Kingdom, we can get everything that's not a 2D moon again. Cloud Kingdom, I think we'll be fine to just get every moon. Uh, Lost Kingdom, uh, everything but the one 2D moon, I think, should be fine. Metro will have some problems. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, that's the minor moons we can get in Tostarina without ever climbing the tower. So, next time we're going to try to climb the tower. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for checking out Mario in this useless poncho that didn't let me get a moon after all. 
Uh, there we are. It's a, it's a sombrero with legs. There we go. The new Mario character. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>